Can you see this? Yep. All right. If I go to, let's say, level one, um, everything is in black and white except for this car. And I couldn't figure out how to, like, make it show up in black and white here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to request mouse control from you for a second. Sure. Um, I haven't done this in a while, but I'll see if I can. So it's a generic model. Um, so one thing we can try is we can go to override graphics, we can go to element, and we can go to projection lines. My mouse is really big right now. Um, we can change, we can actually just override the color of the lines to be black. I mean, we'll see, let's try that first, see if that works. Oh. There you go. That's, that's like honestly the easiest way. Um, Cause what, what's happening is this is a CAD file that's been imported into, um, that's been imported to a Revit family. So that's why you're seeing all the triangulation of everything. Um, what, what I do sometimes is if it's a family that we re reuse all the time, I'll actually just create a, you can kind of see, um, let me give you back your control. I'm just gonna grab my annotate. So you can kind of see some of the lines of, the, of this object. So you can kind of see here, we have this, we have the console, the seat, what we'll actually do is create a 2D uh, line work of, of this, of this uh, car. And then um, we'll just actually add that into the family. So when you see the family in plan, all you see is the 2D line work and actually it hides the 3D image. And then in the 3D image, you don't see the 2D line work. So we'll do, sometimes do that for families that we reuse. So There's no simple way to do that though. You have to hand make that basically. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's, just, it's a very busy thing right now. It's like tons of polygons for no reason. Yeah, and at least it being black and white is probably a little bit better um, <laughs> than than red, right? But uh, yeah, there's probably not there's probably not a really easy way to do that. You could if you can export the CAD file out of this Rhino file. Um, you could um, go sorry out of this sorry the CAD file out of this Revit file. You could bring it into Rhino and maybe make two D and delete all the polygon line work and then bring that 2D image back in. Um, but it might be a lot more work than it's worth, right? Like I'm, I know, I'm not personally gonna be too worried about seeing that, but making it black and white is probably a little bit better, so. Okay. Cool. cool. Well, that, you know, that's significantly better and I just, I couldn't figure out how to do it. And like, it's fine here in red because this is shaded, but I mean, less inside the family. Yeah. Um, but just in plan, it was so weird to see it in red when there was no other color to make sense. For sure, yeah. So you can do the override line work, and that's that's a good way to do it. And then you can also do that with CAD files. Like if you import a CAD file, you can actually override that line work as well and bring it in black and white. Um, so it's a couple a couple different ways to do that. So those are good tricks. Awesome. Any other questions, Eli? No, I think that's everything. Perfect. Well, you have a great night. Thanks, you too. Thank you.